showing you my entire home. And not only is it not my home anymore, it's possibly going to be foreclosed. We're not exactly sure if it's gonna be foreclosed, but it may be. If not, just know that I won't be living here for much longer. And that's what happens when you lose all your money. I wanna die on the inside. This is the gigantic door that I spent thousands of dollars on. Won't be getting a refund. So now it's time to enter the bank's home. Are you ready to see all the money I wasted? Let's go. I want to show you this gorgeous chandelier that I picked out. As you can see, it has this beautiful archway here adorned with these cute little circle lights as well as a whole nother section to the house, which is what we call the suite. Before we renovated, this ceiling was so low, it was to here. This was completely like closed in. There was only like a little doorway to the kitchen. So you can only imagine how much money I spent on renovating this, which again, I will not be getting back. Shall we let Jeffrey out? Okay. Say hi to Jeffrey. Come here, Jeffrey, say hey to everybody. Oh, he loves me so much. I'm his favorite parent, aren't I? He ran away. This is our amazing living room. So this is the gigantic fan. This is the fireplace. It used to be, it looked like actual rocks before, but we decided to paint over it because it was ugly. It's a baby alligator. So we have another pet. His name is Mr. Lizardton. Excuse me. Excuse me. Get down. The reason we have so many boxes in here is because we're having to leave and we're packing all of our stuff. This is the whole living room. So here we are back in the kitchen. Here we have my gorgeous dining room table. And then we have like this cute little enclave here. So this little table here, I put this here obviously for when people walk in, put your keys on it or whatever. And I love this lamp. I got this lamp at Kirkland's. Here we have these lights. They're filled with expensive detail. So here we have the granite countertops that I spared no expense on. And I also have like my bar stools here. And this is my grand dining table. So here is my gorgeous chandelier that goes over the dining room table. It's basically just staged for whenever we show the house. It makes them want to buy it, but obviously it didn't work. So here we are back at the bar. I also have a vegetable sink right here, which is one of the main sinks that we actually use most of the time. I wanna show you the beautiful appliances that will also come with the house. Here we have the gorgeous refrigerator, which I bought at 100% retail price. A dishwasher, one oven, two oven, three ovens, and if you wanna count the microwave as an oven, four ovens. Spending over $5,000 on just appliances is probably the dumbest thing I've ever done because this is the first time I've ever had that much money. You get that mindset of, oh my gosh, I'm invincible. You know, I'll always have this money coming in. It's gonna end, eventually it will. Nothing lasts forever. I probably could have spent $1,000 on just all the appliances in the entire house, but I decided that I would just be dumb and waste my money. That's exactly what I did. Learn from my mistakes, people. This lovely little creepy spider lamp that you see here, I think it came from Wayfair, possibly Amazon. That's where I got all the fixtures. I picked them out myself. This here was supposed to be like a little diner area. We were supposed to put cushions on here and eventually I would have kids and my little kids would sit here at the table and be like, Mom, that's one of the main reasons why I decided to, you know, let go of this house is because it was kind of for a life that I planned with someone else. Deep down, I realized I didn't really want that life. He wanted that life more than I did and I should have spoke up. Let's move on before I start to cry. 
So here is the door that's like on the side of the house. This is another door that I spent a lot of money on and I replaced. I'm not gonna show this room because it's like a bunch of junk in it. I wanna go circle back this way. So this is just a pan shot of the entire kitchen along with the dining areas. Oh, I also wanna show my Felix the cat clock. His tail usually goes back and forth like this. Now let's proceed to yet another portion of the house. This is supposed to be either an office area or guest area. So this is our little guest bathroom. We remodeled this as well, which didn't really need to be remodeled, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I have so much money. I can just like remodel everything and blow all my money on things I don't need to blow my money on. I feel like I just wanna like punch myself in the face. This is the shower that I also had redone. Look at the ceiling. That didn't need to be redone, but it was for some reason. So here's the toilet. That's where all my dreams go. I didn't even know that existed. There are so many parts of this house that I have not even explored. That's the sad part of it all. Okay, let's go through this way. This room here used to be Slava's old office, but we converted it into a junk room and it has such a great view in this room. It's kind of sad that it's just a, a closet. So now let's go down to Slava's office. Very big. He wanted to move in here because we weren't using this space and it also doubled as a studio for him. I also wanted to show like all of Slava's pictures on the wall. They're really cute. He loves New York and obviously Moscow, which is where he's from. And here we have his desk, his computer, and it just has all of his little office knickknacks and stuff, his studio area, all of his books and things like that, along with this amazing replica of St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow. And then we also have an amazing view out of his office as well. When we went to New York, we got so many souvenirs. Slava says this is him. Look at his ghost chair. Oh, and of course he shows his American pride. So that's all for the suite. The suite could possibly be someone's house. I wanted a house that was bigger than my future. Let's proceed to the other wing. So let's go in. Welcome to my lovely bedroom. I have a gorgeous view of the lake, a beautiful chandelier. And this is the bed. I've had this bed for so many years. I got it on Wayfair. This is where I cry myself to sleep at night. <laughs> Say hi, Mr. Jaya. Can I sit with you? Yeah? Jeffrey, what are you doing? Stop. Sit. Okay. So here we have another lamp. It kind of looks like a flower. I got this on Wayfair. I get every, or I used to get everything on Wayfair because I actually had the money to, but now I'm more of a Dollar Tree type of girl, you know? Here is like our bedside table. This is Slava's side of the bed. Here is our Alexis. So here we have my elongated dresser that matches everything else in this room. I bought this entire set all together. Do you see how big this TV is? I would have been fine with a smaller TV, but I actually wasn't the one to buy it. It was someone else that I used to be with. 70 inch TV. And then I got this here at Kirkland's. Jeffrey thinks I'm gonna go and get his food out of here because this is where like all his food is. His life revolves around food. This is Jeffrey's little section here. This is where he can come to eat and play with his little toys. And this is only a fraction of his toys. All the other toys we have packed up in the closet. And then we also have his bed over here in this corner. I love a king size bed so much because Jeffrey sleeps with us. So this is my side of the bed, the queen. Here I have like my little fan because I can't sleep without a fan. And here we have this bench. And it's just a place that I sit like if I wanna put my shoes on or something. This little clock up here, Jesus is up there. Love you Jesus. Our stuff that we got from New York. Cute little music box. It's from the musical Anastasia. Me and Slava went to see it on Broadway in New York. He got me that for my birthday. 
Mr. Jeff, you're a beautiful decoration. So here you can see that I have this fireplace that you can see completely through. And of course I have like some cute little logs inside of it. Logs on the floor, you know, for the decor aspect. Here's another lamp that I got from Kirkland's. So here we have Slava's Chester drawers. This is where he keeps all of his clothes and things like that. I'm obsessed with QVC and they were selling this thing and they said that it was also a heater and we needed a heater for our bedroom. I got this on easy pay because I'm 30. So here we have my bathtub. It is gorgeous, disgusting, it's disgusting. You didn't clean it. Unfortunately, this is not something that I'll be able to take with me. Although I wish I could because it was very, very expensive. And I picked it out myself at the tub store. This is so funny that I actually thought that I had this much money. I was going to put a water light fountain here. I was going to spend thousands of dollars. Gosh, I'm so trash. I was going to spend thousands of dollars on one of those light <laughs> fountains that lit up and like did songs to music. Like they have a Disney world. That's what happens when white trash gets money. <laughs> I know. I almost bought it and it was like four grand. Why can't I just like hit my past self in the face really hard? The only thing I was able to afford was him, which is a narwhal. Let me tell you the story of what this was going to be before I went broke. This was going to be like a cute little TV area. So here you can see like the entire tub area. I have like a cute little step filled with lights and rocks. Really cute, expensive things. So here is my shower. This shower is filled with some of the most expensive hardware on the market. And again, Jeffrey, really? You gonna take a shower? Look at that face. He likes to pee in here sometimes. Come here. Give me a high five. <gasps> yeah, that's a good high five. Come here, give me another. Hit me hard, yay! And another. I know him. Oh, I know you, baby. So here we have a solid granite seat. It's loaded with jets, so this way you can stand up while drowning yourself. You have the light here, more jets rain head shower this little thing here all of this hardware was about six grand i remember i came home from it was like from mexico and it was like 3 a.m and i wanted to take a shower i could not figure out how to make all of this work i've never had a shower like this i've never really used a shower this complicated this whole thing was about fifteen thousand oh dollars i know what is wrong with you i don't know that's what happens when the white trash princess wins the lottery. At least Jeffrey, I bought him before I went completely broke. You were worth every penny. Why couldn't I have just only bought him? Why did I have to buy this entire house? Okay, I'm getting sad again, let's proceed. I loved hanging out in the shower with you. Do y'all wanna see what it looks like when it's on? So here is the his and her sink area. This is where I brush my teeth and pop my zits. This is the mirror I was telling you about that I popped the zit on and it spewed all over the mirror in my pimple popping video. It was an amazing moment. Here we have the water closet. This is where the toilet is. It's like the smallest room ever. We can barely even fit ourselves in there and shut the door all the way. Another cool thing that I have are trash cans. Like we have two of these and they're motion sensor. Ah! That was something I also bought when I had a lot of money. This toilet is probably one of the most expensive toilets. I spent $800 on the bidet. And this bidet does anything but like cook you dinner. It's a very pampering toilet. Jeffrey, you're not getting that rag. No, he wants to eat the soap off of it. 
He's a soap eater. So now let's move on to the laundry room. This doubles as the laundry room and my closet. So here are all of my hanging clothes. This is where all of my shoes are, like all of my heels are up there. I have more shoes here and then Slava's shoes are down there. I don't know what genius decided to put a clear door where I have to get dressed. I'll have family over and I'll be needing to get dressed in the closet and they can see me. No one approved this clear door with me. So here we just have another shelf with my clothes on it, some storage items, folding table, our laundry soap. We have this doubled up washer and dryer as well. Let's move on to the movie theater. Hello and welcome to the movie theater. This is the screen. These amazing LED lights that change colors all around the movie theater. Then if you look up here, you can see this is where the projector is supposed to be. We have like this propeller type ceiling fan up here. This here is supposed to be the part where we control like whatever it is that's going to be projected onto the screen. This is where we were supposed to have like a popcorn machine and we were supposed to get like some seating that was supposed to go in here as well. This room cost a lot because we had to put wires into the ceiling. So this beam up here will hide all the wires to the projector. Projector. The bad part is I never watched a movie in here. Now let's enter the best room ever. This is my office. So my office is filled with a lot of weird things. This is my filming setup, my ring light, I have my table with all of my things. Lens.me, they're the ones who provided me with these amazing contacts that I'm wearing right now. These contacts are so amazing, they look so natural. So this is the view from my office. It is so gorgeous. It's a beautiful day out right now. I have my green screen. It's in front of this so Jeffrey doesn't get into all of my crafts that are behind here. Like my big makeup collection. So this is what I look like when I'm filming. Hey Glitter Critters, it's Breland here. Today I am gonna be as fake as I possibly can and then show you how to do something that is completely useless to your life. Thank you for watching and have a glitterful day. Mwah! That's about sums it up, right? Mm-hmm. This is my sleepy computer. This is my desk, printer, YouTube award. Oh hi! All of these rooms like are connected. This goes into a room that we like to call the kitty room. This is where we like to let the kitties come and lay down, but it was supposed to be like a gym area or a game room. So now we just let our cats come in here and vomit all over the floor. Hey, Vinny Sue. This is our cat that hates us. Just like your subscribers. Look at the view from this room. It is so beautiful. Those windows could use a clean, that's for sure. Too bad we're lazy. Too bad. If you want to go to my office, you can go there from this room as well. And it makes like a giant circle. It leads back to the lobby area is what we call it. And then you can see the kitchen through here. That's my kitchen right there. If you notice, we just made a huge circle. This is the staircase. We put this staircase in. We actually took out the old staircase and rebuilt it and put it in. We were also thinking about putting an elevator in the house, which thank God I didn't spend money on that. So let me show you a quick look at this area. It really doesn't have anything in it, but little portable fireplace decoration type thing. I bought this a long time ago. You may notice it from my older videos. It used to be in my bedroom back in my old house that I wish I would have stayed in so I didn't waste all of my money. So now that we've made the entire circle, I'm gonna show you this little guest room here. So I decided to like set it up and make it look staged and everything, like someone's staying in here. It's really small, but it was gonna be my office, so that's why I had like all the internet stuff in here, and we sold the TV that was in here though because we needed the money. So here we are in the most echoey room in the house. If you're a singer, you would love this room. And if you look up, you will see this enormous chandelier that I also picked out myself. It is a magnificent chandelier, 
along with this gorgeous picture window. This leads into the kitty room that I was just in, but this entire room is so big. It's like super tall. These ceilings are 18 feet tall. So now let's go upstairs. So here we are at the top of the stairs where you can see the gorgeous picture window. It's like a Bob Ross painting. You got the lake and a little happy tree there. Look how far down that is. So this wall here is what you see when you come up the stairs. We're not gonna be going into my mom's room because it's her own private oasis and I'd rather just let her keep it that way. This is my mom's kitchen. It's our second kitchen in the house. It was already renovated when I bought the house, but I decided that I wanted to renovate it again because I wanted it to match downstairs. Therefore, she got all new granite countertops, backsplash, everything. So over this way, it's just her little wall filled with like vintage looking signs. I got all these on Amazon for her. I paid to decorate her entire house. And then she has like all of the cat food and stuff like that there. Here we have like her sink, her dishwasher, her stove that looks like a botanical garden, her fridge, and it's filled with magnets from all the places that we've been. We've been to Mount Kilimanjaro, Mexico, LA, Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, New York. We also bought these like when we would change planes in like Amsterdam. You may have noticed this little door here. This is off of my mom's kitchen. It's actually like a closet slash second bedroom of hers. I'm okay showing this. It used to have a window over here, but of course we wanted to make the house look good on the outside because this wall faces the outside of the house. That's where the front door is. And so we closed it up so that way it would look nice. We also put tons of lights in here. We put new wallpaper in here. This leads to my mom's bedroom. It's so sad that so many of these rooms aren't being used. That's what this house needs is a family that will fill all the rooms and use them. This goes to her bedroom, so this is my mom's bathroom. Everything up here was original. I didn't like build a second floor with a second house on it for nothing. So we have her washer and dryer here, her beautiful lighting fixtures that she picked out. And we also have like her vanity over here. And this is a built-in vanity that I also paid for. And it also has like pretty little lights above it. This is her gorgeous jacuzzi tub. This is her water closet. I too have a room just like this that separates the toilet. And this is something that I wanted because someone else can actually use the bathroom while I'm in the toilet room. This was actually already like this. So I chose to have mine like this as well. I'm gonna show you her closet. This is not only my mom's closet, it's also our tanning bedroom. I don't particularly like to tan. I will tan sometimes, but you know, for health purposes, I try to stay away from the tanning bed. My mom loves to tan a lot. So here is like an award-winning view that's unfortunately in the closet. So here's the other side of my mom's closet. This door also leads to her bedroom. This is her other hanging clothes and hanging wigs I see. So now for the very last part of the house tour. This is the deck out of my mom's bathroom. The reason we put this here was we already had like a roof here. My office is directly underneath here. So here you can see my mom's outdoor furniture. We're getting everything ready to move right now. So nothing's really in place. And this is probably the one thing that I will really miss is being able to come out here and like feel the breeze blowing, hear the mangy dogs barking. So now that we've come to the end of almost foreclosed house tour, possibly foreclosed, the moral to this story is don't live beyond your means because that's pretty much what I did before I was living in like a really like a way cheaper rent house. It really wasn't that expensive to live there and I had built up my bank account like insanely high. 
at that point you get to this mindset of like invincibility you really feel like oh my gosh i'm at the top of the world right now there's no way i'm gonna fall everything's going great so i don't see myself falling for a long time i'll make the money back if i spend it that was my mindset the money started to slowly trickle off it didn't come in as quickly anymore and yet I was still spending on all of these house renovations and it's one of the biggest regrets of my life because I don't know if I'll ever have that much money again in my entire life and I had that one chance to save money and actually use it for a good purpose and although I thought this was a good purpose to use my money it was a very unwise choice there were also people around me who like cheered me on and said hey you should definitely do this you should spend big you should make sure you don't regret anything you spend money on because you're gonna be here forever you know and that's what I was thinking I was thinking I was gonna be in this house for life things change life changed for me and now I'm having to suffer the consequences but at the end of the day I'm just happy that I have my health I'll get back there again I'll try to I'm gonna work my hardest even if I have to get an actual job as everyone says there's no shame in that i'm a very driven person i've literally had the wind knocked out of me with this entire situation losing everything i went through depression i went through denial of like not wanting to admit to myself that i was broke or i no longer had the money that i used to it's really hard to be knocked off that pedestal and to come back so if i can come back from this I can come back from anything. If any of you out there are struggling with anything, just know I am too, and you can get through it, and I'm gonna get through it. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Banks house. <laughs> I'm gonna go now and cry and eat a bunch of ramen noodles or something because that's all I can afford. Oh, let me know in the comments. How much of an idiot do you think I am? How much of an idiot do you think I am? <laughs> On a scale of one to completely insane. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love y'all so much. I thank you for watching. So I'll see y'all later. I love you. Bye.